So you might be wishing you were at a place like this right now, but you're saying to yourself, so what? What's the big deal about waves? Why do we need to study them? I know they exist, but why are they really that important? Well, let's just look around us in nature. Waves exist in so many different places, and ocean waves are really just one of these. Ocean waves are interesting to study already because we can start predicting how they will interact with each other, why things like tsunamis will form, or how the waves will behave as they enter shallower water or come into a bay. So we can take the study of physics and do silly experiments like waving a rope or a spring to create a wave, but we're using that to study the nature and the property of transverse waves that will also apply to things like water waves. The same thing goes for longitudinal waves. We can do experiments with springs to study longitudinal waves, and here's a nice little picture of a compression that's going down the length of a spring, which is acting as a longitudinal wave. But again, we're going to use this to study the nature of other types of waves. For example, sound is a longitudinal compression wave. And it's super important for us as a society to know how sound interacts with things, how it goes around bends, how it changes in different mediums and things like that. And let's also look at electromagnetic waves. Even though these waves don't travel in a medium, these are also super important and they're all around us. So look at some of these different types of waves listed here. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible waves, ultraviolet, x-rays, gamma rays. All of these are different kind of waves. You can probably place some of them. Um, think of x-rays in the medical field, radio waves when you're listening to the radio, uh, microwaves heating your food, and visible, of course, is waves that we see. You may not have known, but all of these types of waves are actually exactly the same type of wave. They're all an electromagnetic wave, the only difference being they have different frequency. So how fast the source oscillates is different for each of these types of waves, but they're all just electromagnetic waves. And it might be surprising, but there's a small section of electromagnetic waves. If they're exactly in that frequency, then we call them visible light. So you can kind of see on the scale down here, there's a small section of visible light, and we see the different colors. But there's so many more electromagnetic waves that are exactly the same thing only we can't see them our eyes don't receive those frequencies however they're all very important as they're all used widely in the world we live in in technology and in the things we do every day we can actually say the same thing about sound waves there's only certain frequencies of sound waves that we can actually hear and all the rest there's subsonic sounds there's ultrasonic sounds there are still compressions of the air at different frequencies but our ear can't receive them. And these are used in other things. For example, sonar, or radar, or ultrasounds. All of these are just sound waves at different frequencies. Again, super important in our world and in industry. So I hope you learn to appreciate the types of waves that we're going to study, and I hope you find it interesting.